hey y'all so what's going on we're back with another video and in this one i wanted to get a little vulnerable with y'all um dodash actually helped me communicate something that i've been trying to communicate with my mom but i didn't really have the words to say it i've been doing youtube a while i have a lot of different channels on youtube i've been yeah I, i've been on the youtube grind and i know that i'm I, if you don't know I'm from the south side of Chicago, born and raised, south side my whole life. And it's obviously it's not the best area. It's not it's a it's a very dangerous place to grow up. It's a lot of stuff going on. But the reason that I've always strayed away from the lifestyle that I could have been a part of is in the the lifestyle that everyone glorifies these days. The reason that I've always wanted more is because of my mom. She's always just had this insane wisdom. Um, and she's recently just retired. So so before we even jump into to it, in the comment section, tell my mom that you would love to hear some of the wisdom that she knows. She just retired after working over 30-something years. Um, she, was, she was working over 30-something years for the government. And yeah, she learned so much. I saw her doing her work like, like, she was very very good at her work to the point where it it didn't even look like she'd be working but then when you realize she's getting awards for being one of the best workers it's like she does this and makes it look effortless but how much how hard does she have to work to make it look that easy and then I think about me growing up how you know I didn't have everything but I didn't have it as hard as you know other people did have it like and she the when the the areas where she couldn't provide and the areas where she did struggle sometimes she always found some way to mask it so it always didn't seem as bad as the situation maybe was so i never knew the struggles that she was going through i never knew how you know i never knew how bad things had gotten at some points and she had no one she's a single she was a single mom you know my whole life always a single mom um never really had nothing the dad my dad Come on now, my dad's horrible. He <laughs> he's a drunk. Never been in my life. Um, never did much for her. Like honestly, I think the best thing, honestly, for me is the fact that he was never in my life. Cause I can't imagine me being being any better with him in my life. I think I would have could have only been a lot worse if he would have stayed in my life. So I think that one we dodged a bullet. <laughs> so, but still, yeah. I feel like she needs to know that it is people who who care what the older generations have to say, who care about the wisdom. Like so many times I see her and my grandma talking about all oh, these young kids, this, these young kids, that it's like, tell them I'm like th this because I feel like I'm uh, I've done I've done well trying to focus on the positive, trying to focus on building businesses, investing I've had I had my head on straight. My mom took me at at 16 years old. She took me to Jamaica. I got to see a different country. I got to see different sides of the world. Like I I, I wanted more. She put some stuff on my heart that a lot of people don't may not have. You know, parents in their life willing to or capable of with the time to put that type of stuff on their heart. So she I I feel like she did an amazing job with me, and I feel like the fact that I'm the only one who gets to hear it it's a it's not doing justice you know you know it's a it's a disservice to the world in, in my opinion and i think that she needs to she needs to share the things that she know it, and Do, dodash is right this is why i agree with dodash is right when she was talking about how people over 50 needs need to be on youtube because that's the exact video i showed my mom and you know it put it did put something on our mind. I don't know if she's gonna act on it, but I hope she does. Um, I mean, even though at at the cost of you know, <laughs> a lot of her stories may have to do with me, some of the struggles that I have been through. But it doesn't matter because if I've been through these struggles, if she's felt the way about these struggles, someone else does also, and she can help someone. She, you know, she can bless someone with some wisdom that she learned. She had to learn the hard way that maybe someone else won't have to learn that uh, in such a hard way so yeah i feel like i've been fortunate to hear all the things that she's had to say and i've been fortunate like my mom was a type growing up i would get whooped 
But the whooping never really did anything. I never cared about being whooped. I was bad. I was very bad. I got expelled from like six schools or something. Like, I was bad. But I think the part that finally clicked for me and, you know, made me grow is the fact that every whooping, it wasn't just a whooping. She would not whoop me while she was mad. She would calm down, make sure she was level-headed and in a place where she could talk to me and tell me what I did wrong. And I think that that communication and, and as a single mom with so much stress to be that disciplined and be that knowledgeable and wise to no, I'm not going to hit him out of anger to get this off of me. I'm going to hit him for his own good. And I know in this generation, it sounds crazy, but <laughs> for, for me growing up, I feel like the heart and love behind what she was doing, like it hurt her to, to feel like that's what she had to do. But she had to say it and then she had to give me consequences so that I was um, so I understood there's consequences to the things that I do. And that was the way that she taught me right or wrong. Is it better ways? If more people over 50 come out and start speaking, giving their experiences, giving their thoughts, maybe we can find a better way. You know, all we have all we have had up until the point YouTube came out is our immediate circle, our family, our friends, the people around us. Now we potentially have access to millions of people. So if certain parents like, you know what? I know I, I, I was kind of whooped growing up, but I found as a parent, I tried this and this works as well. Now we have more ways. We have more discussions to talk about. We like, and I think that that's so important, like not coming from a place of I'm right, you're wrong, but coming from a place of I've tried this, I've lived this. This has been my experience with it. It's been good because of this. It's been bad because of that. It's like, just a lot of people with wisdom sharing the stuff that we all need to know because just because she did an amazing job, you know, raising me and letting me know the things that I need to know. There's always more that I can learn. There's almost, there's always more wisdom that I can, you know, take in. And I feel like we do need that, that older generation coming out, sharing more, sharing more of more of that wisdom, because I would love to see her on YouTube talking to more people and communicating the things that she know and the things that she's experienced because she is the person that everyone in the family goes to, you know, when they need something, when they need some type of support or, you know, she, she's had a lot to offer people. Like if they're down at their lowest, my mom is usually the one that people, you know, people tend to run to in the family. And I mean, the whole family has heart and love and everyone should probably be on YouTube talking, but I can only speak, you know, I can I can only speak the most for my mom because she's the person that I'm closest to in the world. Um, she's the one who's instilled all my values, who's made me want more, more than just the the violence, more than just the 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 nothingness and trouble that's outside. I've always wanted more because she showed me more. You know, she showed me that she showed me a different country at such a young age. Where, you know, if people who have never saw outside of the city of Chicago lights just went off people who have never saw outside of chicago you know you might not even know that that exists you can't be inspired by that you know you can't be inspired you can't feel certain things because you didn't even know that it, it existed so yeah that being said man um i i would i really hope that she does get on I, I, this is why I'm such a huge fan of Dodash. She's coming out saying the things that people need to hear. And it's so much truth in it. And I'm praying that, you know, more wisdom gets onto these platforms because we are living in a generation that needs it. The wisdom is needed. You know, the wisdom is definitely needed. And everyone that I know is like, don't don't want to get on the platforms. They don't want to, you know, take their time to do it. No one's going to listen or they don't have the time or they're so tired of their regular job. They don't want to work another job. They don't want to put more effort into something else. And it's like, man, it's I don't know what to say. I don't have the words and I don't have the wisdom. But I feel like people like Dodash, she's out here saying something and it resonates and hits so it hits so home. It hits so hard home for me. Because I, I am someone who would love to see my mom's wisdom on the internet being shared and helping other people the way that she's helped me get my head on straight. I'm far from perfect. I'm far from perfect. I could I could be a lot better in many ways, and I'm always going to be working to grow. But the fact that I'm aware of my shortcomings and I'm working to fix any shortcomings that I have, that's a testament to my mom and her mindset and the, the mindset she 
you know, she she gave me. I I'm accountable for the things that I I do. You know that that's that's just how I am. I was raised that way. So, yeah, I think that the the older generation and the 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 why it's so much wisdom out here that needs to be shared. So, please please share your wisdom. Share your wisdom with the world. Like everyone has something that they can share. Everybody has a testimony. Everyone has experiences. If the more we hear people's real people's experiences and, and what real people have to say to one another and have to share, the more we can learn, the more we learn, the more knowledge and wisdom we obtain, the better we become as a people, as a whole. It's not about race. It's not about skin color. It's not about any of that. It's just about us being a better people because while we sitting down here arguing over dumb stuff, like what if there is more out there? And then like, what if some other planets are united or something? And then we do get invaded or something. It's like, and I know everything would be conspiracy theories and stuff like that. But we over here fighting over trivial matters when it's a chance that there's some very sophisticated life out there somewhere. (laughs) Like, come on now. We got to get it together. You know, we got to get it together. We can make this world a better place, but people got to choose to start, you know, putting, putting the effort into it, putting the time into into making things a lot better. So that's just my thoughts. That's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. I, I Hopefully we get some nice wisdom in the comments so I can, or, or some nice comments so I can show my mom and, and let let her decide for herself if, you know, if, if she's moved by some of the things that she reads. So hopefully we can, we can do that. Let me know what you all think and how you all feel. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one.